Hello and welcome to another Comtips tutorial. Um, just a quick update. Um, I'm sorry I wasn't on. I was um, off. For, I was away in London for a while, so um, just seeing some family and stuff. So I'm back now. I'll be able to bring you some more tutorials. Um, so the one we're going to do today is um, how to change the start menu text and some other stuff on the Explorer.exe. Now before you want to do this, you want to go to your web browser and go to angusj.com slash resource hacker scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll see these two zip files you can download either, it doesn't really matter um, once you download them, you just extract them and um, you'll be able to just extract them to any directory you want to I've got it in my documents at the moment and what you do is um, you want to go and open up Resource Hacker. Um, now you'll get a blank screen, but if you just go to File, Open, and scroll across, you'll see Explorer.exe there. Um, so yeah, and before you actually change anything on this, you want to go to um, Accessories and set a Restore Point. Go to System Tools, System Restore. For that to load up. Right now, um, once this is up, you want to click um, to on create a restore point. Click next, change the restore point name, and then click create. Um, I'm not going to do it for this because I'm not going to change anything, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so the first thing is if you want to change your start menu text, you go to string table and click on 37 and open and click on this 1033 bit. And this top bit here will say start, you can just change that to whatever you want. I changed it to comp tips. Um, and once you've done that, so let's just make a minimal change like that. You just click this compile script will be up here. Just click that, and um, it'll compile the script for you, and then um, save it. And then, um, as you can see here, instead of click here to start, I've got Enter My World. If you go to um, the 34 folder and click on that, um, it's down here on the. 533rd line um, says um, click here to start um, I changed it to enter my world and again you just click compile script and it'll save the changes on there and then I've en edited some other stuff on here like I've changed this to controller and to connections from what um, their default was if you go down to 515 folder you got um, it'll say something like network connections here. I changed it to connections, and <clears throat> the other one says control panel. I changed it con to controller. It's got an and in front. It's had an and in front of it on um, the control panel. If it's got one in, I'd leave it on. I'm not sure what it does if you take it off. Um, other one on here. Um, when you install new software, it says um, new programs installed. So yeah, um, instead of having um, where it says new programs installed, I've said um, new software. <laughs> Sorry about that, that's my sister being a dick. Um, yeah, I've changed it to new software en enabled. And you just click compile script again, it'll change that. Um, if you go up to the 20 folder and click on this one, um, I've changed this uh, to the home base. This was what it had on my computer, as you can see there, when you hover over it. Um, and I changed this one is the control panel. I'd remove shit from here, as you can see on there. And if you go up to the top one on folder 19, this way you can change the stuff on the My Documents folder. As you can see, like I've got, uh, you can't really see that, but um, you can see here that I've changed it. Just click Compile Script again, 
and then once you've done all these changes you go to file save actually no um, before you do that you want to click on open first and just make a backup of it so um, copy it and then paste it see I've got three backup files on here so I've got explorer, explorer.back, explorer original and explorer hack which is um, an old one and um, so yeah it's just um, as an extra backup precaution and then once you've done that you just click file save and once you've done that you just click control delete and you go to processes and you go down on processes to um, if you sort them by alphabetical order and go down to explorer.exe end it and you'll see everything disappears and then you just go to file new task and um, this might not come up but if it doesn't just click browse go into your windows um, go from your C drive go into your windows folder and go across to explorer open and click OK and then start up the explorer process again and you'll get your start menu back um, I'm not sure if there's anything else to tell you other than I'm sorry for my sister being such a dick and bursting in like that and um, I'll post some more videos later now that I'm back